I honestly think he is becoming one of my favourite players to watch at the moment in the yeah. Premier League. I just, every time I watch him, it makes me smile and it's because of the, the journey that he's been on. But what he's doing for West Ham is just so exciting. I mean, he's playing with a freedom, isn't he? A real freedom. I mean, the first few goals yesterday, it looked like he was watching him fast forward. <laughs> but I, I, didn't, I, I knew he was quick, but I didn't think he was that quick running with the ball. But what he's done for West Ham, I mean, you talk about, what, six goals in eight games. Mm. I mean, he's been absolutely brilliant. Breath of fresh air. He's added a real energy, winning mentality down there at West Ham. And I'm, I'm in agreement with you. You said about his journey. He had a tough time a couple of times at United. Every time he seemed to play at Manchester United, people would say, oh, it's finished. He's done. Yeah. He's done. Like He's got to move on. And he's gone to West Ham and he's proven a point and he's been absolutely sensational. And he deserves it all because he's worked hard. And it looks like someone to me that he's, he's kept himself in shape. He's kept himself motivated. He's ho he looks hungry. And listen, if, you, if you're picking players on form in the, for the Euros in the summer, he's got to be in there if you're going on current form right now. I feel like every time we speak about one of these players, it opens up this can of worms in terms of the debate on who goes, who's on the plane, who, leads, who's, who does he leave out. Um, there are so many of these knocking around. But, but for me, Jesse Lingard, that first goal as well, where he basically just took it on himself. It was like a solo goal and finished it off brilliantly. But that confidence is, is huge, isn't it? And it does look like it has a knock-on effect to the team around him as well. It does, yeah. I mean, when, when they brought him in, I mean, I'm sure a lot of few West Ham fans were talking about that they needed a centre forward because Antonio, again, we saw yesterday, unfortunately, picked up an injury. Mm. But what he's done, he's gone in there, he's given him a different dimension, the pace going forward. I mean, his creative spark that he's got. And you're right, when they're breaking forward, him, Bowen, Fornells, these guys quick yeah. going forward with such energy, such intent. I mean, they're going to take some beating. And I'm sure a lot of people are expecting... West Ham to kind of fall off. Every time they pick up a game, well, this might be the week they fall off and then I don't think top four's in reach for them. But they've won again at Wolves, which is not an easy game. No reason why they can't finish in the top four.